Well, three really, but the third one I may show you. I may not. Well, I'll probably show you because it'll be here in time enough. But yeah, so today is like me finalizing uh, pretty much what we're going to do to this car for the time being and just doing a little final touches on stuff. The good folks over at another site, they make a lot of LED stuff and I actually be, I run these in the Turbo C7 and my Civic and these are stupid bright. Like you can see way down the highway, especially when you adjust your headlights properly, you can see way down the highway. So these are pretty much the GOAT. What I really need to check though, I need to check and see if they have like the blinking tail light bulb. But so that's something else I wouldn't mind putting on here, but. Like, look at the quality. Y'all see that? The fan is sitting on the top of this thing. Like, that's so weird. Normally the fan would be on the back. It's like on top of it. That is crazy. Okay. Now before I install, I'm gonna turn these on and show you what we got right now. I'm gonna shut this door down so maybe we can get a little better lighting. So the low beam are pretty normal. They're like the regular, you know, um, halogen bulbs, which honestly, these are the GOAT. If you don't buy something upgraded like these, like the Novasight bulbs, you're better off keeping your stock headlights. And I learned that some years ago, man, I used to jump on whatever eBay cheap LED lights, HID kits, anything cheap that made it look like a blue headlight. I was like, yeah, this is so fucking red. But over the years I learned, man, you cannot see with them things, especially when it rains, especially like, on, like where we stay, it's just so many just straight back rows, no lights, nothing but your head like to see with. And the way deer are out here, you cannot be driving with that type of stuff. You gotta be able to see them things. So um, what I started doing, I just quit putting any type of LED, any type of HID in my cars. I just started running with the stock ones because these work amazing, especially when you have clean headlights. So ain't no need to be switching it out for looks and I can't see shit when I'm on these back rows by myself. So, but then, uh, eventually, I started getting with these more expensive LED lights, and these work a lot better. And I want to say these are about 70, 80 bucks. So they're not that bad, but I mean, you got to think, I was getting HID kits for like $26 on eBay. So, yes, yeah, a little more than that, but these work great. I've never had one of these go out on me. And yeah, they're super, super bright, man. Like, bright as crap. So, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the high beams right quick. You do not, I repeat, you do not want a high beam that looks like that. That is like a pure blue, like high beam, like that's, no. Do you see that blue? Do you see how blue that is? It looks like it's tinted. That is not good at night. You would not see that good with that. See, the problem is, you want this, you, what you really want to do when you buy aftermarket light, you want it to match like a stock brand new cars LEDs. You know, like new cars have projectors and LEDs and they don't look like this blue. They look more like a pure white color. That's what you want to go out. You don't want these colored blue ones and stuff. That they look cool, but you can't see with. So that's definitely a no-no. So let me get these pulled out. Y'all see this shit? It's like, man. You can clearly see me and I'm off to the side. I'm not even, bruh, what? Like you can clearly see me and I'm to the side. Look at this shit. That is bright.
Look at it, pure in this boy. Like it's so bright, guys. I can feel the heat off of it. Like that thing is. Woo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. That's what you want. That is what you want. High and low beam matching. I mean, look at the purity in this video right now. It is pitch black in my shop. Look at the purity. Why should I cut the lights off? Like, it is pitch black in here, yet, this shit brightens everything up. Like, you can see everything in the shop. And yeah, I'm working with a note, so you know the note got good quality, but you know, that is freaking crazy. All right, so the next thing that I have to do before I even drive this thing is swap this radio out. I know a lot of you guys may not know this, but I originally started my car addiction as a audio head, and yeah, Pioneer is the way to go. So, I'm gonna swap this out. I got a couple units <clears throat> laying around in the shop that we're gonna be installing. So I got this uh, head unit rigged up in here. It didn't have any screws to hold this thing to the actual tray thing, so I had to find a couple of screws, but we got that worked out. So, we got that in, and it's working good. I tested it, uh, but the bad problem is, I figured it was gonna be this way, but I was hoping it won't. Man, guys, these door speakers are shot. So now I have to order new door speakers. But this time, guys, I'm not doing any type of upgrading because I don't like the way they don't fit the pie. So, these Hunters got like a little pot built into the door that gives you like that mid bass, like nice sound to it. And if you go to trying to upgrade the speakers, the magnets won't fit into that tight space. So then you have to modify that pod. And then um, unless you get somebody to custom build a pod for your door, it's not gonna have the mid bass like it should have. So what I think I'm gonna do is just try to find a factory replica set and run with those because I don't need anything crazy. I just want it to sound smooth and clean. I don't want nothing like retarded loud or I just I just like to hear the words, the little beat in it and you know, so I don't have to try to put subs in the trunk and stuff like that. I, I wanna try to keep it as simple as possible. So I'm gonna jump online, see what I can find and hopefully I can find a factory replacement um, that'll just fit right into the pod with the same little three screws and stuff. Hopefully I can find that so that we don't have to hack up the harness, modify that pod, anything, and just it'll just plug and play. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna start with just the two front speakers just because um, they're closest to me and I'll hear them more than the rears and then what I'm hoping though, I unplugged this side on the driver's side and it actually got clearer and, and a little bit louder. So I'm hoping that that one on the other side, on the passenger side is actually messed up too. And that's what's causing the rears to sound so bad. Because if that's true, maybe the rears will come back to life a little bit and we won't have to mess with those right now. Maybe we can just put the two front ones in and it'll be perfect. But th this video is gonna be my final video on 
the daily driver project i know i've done a ton of videos on this thing so far so what i'm gonna try to do as well is make a playlist for you guys that just found it and um you can go through and see i mean because we've done a lot to this car put the transmission out put the whole really put the whole engine out new clutch light flywheel um new transmission new shift linkage uh, we've done a we've done a lot, man. Suspension work. It's been a lot that we've done to this car. So, matter of fact, I might do a playlist, and I also might do like a start to finish video on it. Even though we don't have any wheels, this is a more of a daily car. So, I don't really want to mess up the ride quality too much with like aftermarket wheels. So, um, until I can find, I want to find me another set of OEM wheels. But until I can find those. I'm just gonna run the Steelys. They have brand new tires on them. So there's no really rush to get rid of them. But well, I guess we'll pick this video up once my window regulator comes in. new one and here's the old one boys this thing really took a shit bro i mean it came all apart it's crazy but yeah um when i got that out it's funny i also found this for sale sign in the door so yeah i don't know how that ended up inside of the door like where the window is but yeah that's pretty funny but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this new one installed and let's hope everything works as it should. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Got that window regulator in, she's working beautifully. And <clears throat> yeah, that's about gonna wrap this up for this car, man. That is it for this car for now. Now, <clears throat> those of you that know me, know that sometimes I don't always keep like, the, the, the simpler projects, the ones that I feel like didn't take a lot of effort or like the engines and stuff aren't worth a whole lot. Sometimes I'll sell them to try to get new projects to start on. And those of you that know this channel also know that we already have two of these with a F20B and a H23A swap. So um, with that being said, the likelihood of me keeping this car is pretty slim, which uh, I know some people will be, will be sad, but honestly guys, I got probably three or four cars that I really want to get my hands on. First, well, one of the first ones since now that I have a newborn baby, I really want an Odyssey, like preferably the first generation, but the second generation is definitely fine with me. And then uh, secondly, I want Another CD5, that's really the only Accord that I'm missing uh, right now out of my fleet. So I am on the lookout for a really cheap CD5 shell project that I can possibly swap in a uh, F23 engine. And um, we can definitely tune that because those cars don't 
be affected with the AC as far as uh, tuning goes. So definitely want one of those or uh, and, and not or, but maybe even and. I also want a second generation CRV. So like the first generation they put the K24 in, that's uh, something I'm also looking into. Again, the CRV and the van are not gonna be ones that I heavily modify. Those are actually gonna be what I'm saying they need to be, which is a daily. But um, with that being said, I really do want a uh, Project CD5. That's, that's honestly what the next project I really wanna sink into. And also a EK4 door, but we're not gonna go there right now. But guys, with that being said, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all enjoying the daily driver content. Uh, we got some pretty cool stuff coming up as far as the h b and some of the other projects. So stay tuned for that stuff. But yeah, the next video you see it is, we'll be doing some stuff out and about on the road. So that's gonna be really exciting. But yeah, hope y'all enjoyed it. Like the video. I will catch y'all next time. Remember, respect all bills. Peace out.